Okay, you're going to answer part B and part C of question one. Um, from part A, we just figured out that Vs, um, uh, let's get the pen, Vs as a phaser is equal to, uh, what was the answer? It was um, 48 volts at an angle of 30 degrees. There we go. So that was IL we were given and VS we calculated. Um, the next question asks us to uh, determine the magnitude and phase angle of the current flowing through the resistor and the capacitor. So let's find the other two currents. So these currents will be um, there will be one here we'll call IR as a phaser. We should be writing these as phasers. And this one here I see also a phaser. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult. So remember the expression, we had these expressions for impedances and then there was also the general Ohm's law which was V is equal to I times Z for any element. Um, so we're going to use this V is I times Z again. So let's do, this will be part B. And the first one we'll solve for is IR. So IR is a phaser. That will be VR over uh, ZR. And the voltage, what is VR? Well, it's the voltage across this guy. And that's the same as, as VS. So it's the same as VS because they're in parallel. Divided by ZR, which is just R itself. So we end up with um, Vs we calculated was 48 that's the amplitude of the sinusoid um, and at 30 degrees so it's shifted by 30 degrees so remember 30 degrees out of 360 so that's going to be 1 12th of a full period at the frequency angular frequency omega divided by the R well what is R? it's a real number R is just 6 here it is here so it's divided by 6. Um, remember, we did an example in the last question. If I want to write down this in polar form, if that was the real axis and the imaginary axis, 6 will be somewhere out here. And the angle will be theta equal 0 degrees. So I could also write this as 6 as the magnitude, this being at 6. Um, 6 at an angle of zero degrees. And that looks a bit more familiar. I can now do this. It's division. So and they're both in polar form and that's good. That's the way I want it. So it's going to be four divide the magnitudes, forty eight divided by six gives me eight. And subtract the angle. So thirty minus zero is thirty degrees. So and that's current, so it's amps. So the current in the resistor is going to be a sinusoidal uh, current. It's going to have an amplitude of eight amps. So maximum current of 8 amps, and it's going to be shifted by 30 degrees, which is 1 12th of a period um, of, the, of the sinusoid itself. Um, let's do IC. Pretty much the same idea. A little bit more tricky because IC has an imaginary terminant. So IC, and it's going to be the same. It's going to be VC, which is the same as VS, divided by ZC. That's the equivalent of Ohm's law over here. Um, well, what's that equal to? It's equal to Vs, because they're all in parallel, divided by Zc. And Zc was, well, we should probably calculate Zc on the side over here. So Zc is equal to 1 over J omega C, which is equal to 1 over J uh, omega was 1000, we figured that out from the original uh, current waveform that we had. And C is 250 by 10 to the minus 6, so 250 microfarads. And um, if we figure this one out, we should get um, minus J4. Um, and that will be ohms because it's an impedance, so all impedances are in ohms. Um, 
where did minus where did the minus come from? Well, just remember, um, bling. on the side over here, let me just write that j times j is equal to minus one. That's the definition of of what j or i is, the square root of minus one, which uh, gives us one over j is equal to minus j. So there we go, we've got minus 4j, and maybe we want to have it in polar form as well, so let's actually write that. You can probably figure out by now that that's going to be equal to, um, it's going to be equal to, it's going to be minus j, so it's minus 90 is the angle, so it's going to be 4, um, oops, wrong color. It's going to be equal to 4, I think I've got off the page, apologies, uh, minus so 4 at an angle of minus 90 degrees. That's set C. So we can put that over here. Um, so it would have been Vs divided by ZC. So that's going to be equal to Vs was 48 at an angle of 30 degrees. And ZC was 4 at an angle of minus 90 degrees. So we get 12 at an angle of, well, it's 30 minus minus 90, so that's 30 plus 90 is 120 degrees, and it's a current. So again, that's in amps. So I think I'll take a break here and put part C in a different video.